All right, Coach, let's go ahead and start with an opening statement. Um, so, I, you know, Zusa was a really good basketball team. Good credit to them. Um, they played a really good game. Troy Leaf was a really good basketball player, and we knew that coming in. And obviously, the guys seemed to our right. It was kind of a one on one show between those two. So it was kind of fun to watch some big time basketball talent out there. But I mean, they played well. They shot well tonight. Um, we gave them too many open looks. Um, you know, we got in a three point shooting contest with them, and then we knew we were going to lose that one. And, you know, we didn't, our inside game wasn't a factor tonight. And so um, they did a good job neutralizing that. And so, you know, they deserved to win, and, uh, you know, they played well tonight. Questions? Uh, Faison went out early in the game with foul trouble. Can you just talk about how much that affected the team? I mean, I don't know how much it did. He, he struggled tonight. You know, he's been our, one of our go-to guys, and um, he struggled tonight. And, um, you know, anytime you have one of your key players go down with foul trouble, it's <laughs> tough, especially early. But, you know, that wasn't the reason. What, what went on today, and um, I mean our guys fought to the end, and uh, but you know, give Zeus all the credit because they played real well tonight. I mean they they they're a good basketball team. Terrence, what about this? Obviously, you kind of had a great career, and um, you guys, you know, you left it all out on the floor. What are your kind of thoughts now? Um, no, it's, it sucks losing. Um, uh, the one thing I always tell myself is just to not have any regrets. And so, um, you know, at the end of the day, I can hold my head up because I know I gave everything out there tonight and us as a team did. And, um, you know, it's a great group of guys that we had this year. And, and um, you know, I'm excited to, to see what they do in the years to come. Um, you know, obviously, my career here is done, but, you know, I know that Coach K and, and Coach Hill and Coach Okada, they're going to, you know, do what they need to do to have a successful basketball program. And, so happy to be here. I'm blessed to be here. Um, thank my coaches for everything that they've they've done for me these these five years that I've had here. And, and, um, and I'm just lost for words right now. Yeah. Coach, and then coach, talk to me about the uh, the start of the game. Uh, a little bit of a slow start for you guys. APU had a slow start yesterday. Came out fast today. Did, did yesterday's close game was was it tough to kind of get get the guys back in less than 24 hours you know we've been doing it all year we play back to back a lot of times in our league so I don't want to use that as an excuse I mean when it just came out on all cylinders and we obviously you know we were a little shocked that um, maybe Mr. Lee can shoot threes but you know I think in the scouting report we did go over that a little bit but I mean you know the key guy kept Stafford was really good for him tonight you know that's someone we knew if we locked in on Leaf and some of the role players really stepped up well tonight. And, you know, I think he was a big factor for him tonight. Um, but, yeah, we, we didn't get off to as good a start. Um, you know, we had let them some open looks, and, you know, they got confidence from there. And, you know, and, uh, we've all, we had to play catch up the whole game. I don't even know. You know we cut it under double digits, I think, a couple times in the second half. But, you know, first being in the second half was critical. We had a chance. We made some stops, and then we just turned the ball over and missed a couple free throws first four minutes of the second half and that took a little bit of the wind out of us from that at that point. So. Yeah, it seemed like every time you did, I think it cut it to seven three different times and yep. each time they answered on the next possession. Yeah. Twice it was three pointers too. Yep. Yeah, I think English hit one in the corner and maybe Stafford again or somebody, yeah. And then Terrence for you, um, playing so close to your campus uh, this time. I'd say the Pomona crowd's probably been the best one of the tournament so far. How, how comfortable, even though it's not your gym, how comfortable was it to kind of have that uh, community support around you guys? Um, well, we, we have, a, have a lot of uh, fan support at our school. Um, you know, the pet band, they travel wherever we are. Um, you know, up north, down here, it doesn't matter. You know, um, I'm really thankful for the fans and, and for uh, you know, the support that they give us night in and night out. Um, I felt comfortable in the gym. I like this gym a lot for some reason. My shot goes in here. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a it's been a, a great great time with the fans and, and um, you know, I'm glad that they that they're always supporting our program and you know, good or bad, they're always there. And, uh, that's all you can ask for as an athlete.
Then Terrence, one more. What, what do you remember most about this season, you know, the comp, uh, tournament championship, I think it was? What, what stands out to you that you'll take with you? Um, in that tournament championship that we had, um, you know, what stands out the most is just our will to fight as a team out there. Um, that was, Coach was talking about it before the game, you know, that was, you know, where we displayed the most heart, I think, um, this whole season, you know, playing a team that beat us twice in the regular season, um, you know, and at some point, you know, in your mind, you want to, you want to say, well, you know, we tried as hard as we could, you know, and we gave it all we had and, and we can just fold, but we didn't fold that game. And, and you know, I just really commend my players and, and commend, you know, coaching staff and just everybody for just having the heart out there. And, and we really did, you know, give everything we had out there on that floor and we came out with the, the conference championship and that's something that I'll never forget. Anyone else? Uh, Coach, can I just get one quick thought from you? Same same question. Just what do you remember most about this group? Uh, I just think again we uh, I think first of all we started off in a wonderful style at Arizona and Stanford and we actually you know we beat Azusa early and we had some big wins or you know big I say wins, we didn't beat Arizona, but, uh, you know, we, we were playing well early. We kind of took a dip during the middle of the season, and, um, but these kids fought back, and we ended up, I said, talking to the players, you know, this last three weeks we've been playing really well and we stepped up our competitiveness. They've grown up as people and as competitors, and, you know, I'm so proud of them. And, uh, you know, this guy I'm going to miss a lot. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, he had a great career for us, and he's been with us for five years and can overcome – we were talking about overcoming adversity. This this young man over here has overcome a lot, and um, you know injuries and stuff. And and um, I'm so proud of this guy to my right. And he deserves all the accolades. And and um, you know, but we're definitely going to miss him. And you know, but I'm, I was I'm happy to I was able to have to coach a player of his caliber. You don't get to do that too much, and so it was made my job a lot easier. Any other questions? Thank you guys. Thank you. Yes. What did you say?